In this video we will talk about the tangent ratio and we'll start out with some notation and definitions. First imagine a ray of sunlight coming in and striking the ground like that. So that line at an angle is incoming sunlight and this is the ground and we'll assume it's perfectly horizontal. Well that ray of sunlight makes an angle with the ground and we'll call that angle theta. So you can write theta in there. That's a Greek letter. Again, Greek letters are commonly used to represent angles and theta is very common. Now come over here to the right and draw in a vertical line segment. So that's perpendicular to the ground right there. Well, When you draw that in, you formed a right triangle on your diagram. And let's call the height of the triangle y and the horizontal uh, distance here, the base of the triangle, we'll call that x. Now what we're concerned with is this ratio of y to x. We're not really concerned with this particular triangle because this line segment right here, I could have drawn that anywhere. Any number of triangles would have the same ratio y over x and that ratio would be the same as long as this angle right here is the same and uh, we say that the tangent of angle theta, this is our notation, let me write this, the notation is this, we say the tangent of theta, the tangent of angle theta is equal to y over x and mathematically the way that's written is this, tangent is abbreviated T-A-N, so we say tangent theta is y over x and some people when they read this out loud they say tan theta um, it's more, more appropriate to say tangent theta or the tangent of theta. The tangent of that angle is the ratio formed, y over x. Now we want to actually speak of this in pretty general terms. Let's imagine a right triangle like you see here and there's an angle theta right down there and one of these sides, this one over here, is opposite angle theta. So go ahead and write that in in your notes. That side is opposite angle theta. If you start at angle theta right here, start over here in this corner and basically cut that angle in half and go all the way across, that's the side that you hit. That is the side opposite angle theta. This side down here, we say that side is adjacent to angle theta. So write that in down there, adjacent. And the word adjacent just means next to. Like the United States is adjacent to Canada because uh, they share a border. So adjacent means next to. This side right here is adjacent to this angle. Now if you think of this angle here as, as right there, you think of the angle as this space in between or this span, you could really say that this side and this side are both adjacent to this angle. So why do we call this one the adjacent and not that one? And the answer is this one already has a name. That's the hypotenuse. So the adjacent side will always be one that is not the hypotenuse. And I commonly abbreviate the opposite and adjacent. I'll say OPP for opposite and ADJ for adjacent. Now if we name the sides like that, we can then say that the tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. And what I mean is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. That length over that length. That ratio. Or if we have x and y as the names of the sides then we can say that the tangent of theta is y over x. It doesn't really matter what you name the sides. The tangent will always be the opposite over the adjacent. And that is the definition of the tangent of an angle. It's the ratio of the opposite to the adjacent side of a right triangle formed with that angle. Now look at these triangles and realize that even though we calculate the tangent of theta by dividing the lengths y and x, it's really the angle that matters. The size of the particular triangle doesn't matter. These triangles in this diagram are all similar triangles. This little one here you could just scale it up a little bit and get this one, scale it up a little bit more and get that one. These triangles all have the same shape. In geometry we call these similar triangles. They all have angle theta. 
So you can scale it up or down. Theta doesn't change. The angle is still the, still the same. And the ratio y over x doesn't change either. It's going to be the same for all of the triangles. Now if we were to change the angle, if I were to make a triangle that had angle theta really small, something like this, and then this y over this x, that would be a different ratio than any of these up here. Or if I made theta bigger, made a big angle like this, right triangle here, then this ratio of y over x would be different. And that's because the angle here is different from the angle in those triangles. So it's the angle that matters. The ratio, the opposite over the adjacent, will be constant for any given angle, regardless of the size of the triangle. And that idea of a constant ratio for each angle, that's one of the important concepts in trigonometry.